Of a dolphin and a boy made of gold with the shells and the pearls in the deep. He has lain many years fast asleep. What they tell of the boy on a dolphin. Can say if it's true. Should he rise from the depths of the ocean? Any wish that you wish may come true. You say he's only a statue, and what can a statue achieve? While I'm gazing at you, my heart tells my head to believe. Is the boy whom the gods have enchanted should arise from the sea? And the wish of my heart could be granted. I would wish that you loved only me. Pedro, why you do that? Because you're lazy. I work. It is Sunday. We're working out. Hmm. Pedro comes on her Sundays to help you get sponges. To help you to pay for a boat. Your own boat. Ah, <laughs> my own boat. That will be good, eh? Then we get married. We have babies. Maybe house. Hmm. Babies, yes. Plenty of babies. But a house? I do not see a house. For two years now, you tell me, soon I pay for a boat, I buy house. But I still work in windmill. And you still die for Mr. Arakopoulos. Why always you talk work, money, money, work, not love? Hmm. I like to make many wishes too. At night, to the stars. But you, Riff, you... What is the matter? You love Riff, you do as Riff say. Hey, Pedro.
See, see what happens when you play little girl tricks and run away from your rib, huh? He was laughing at me, the boy. It was all gold, so big. He was laughing and running a fish, he was. Fader, stop. Don't talk, eh? Breathe, just breathe. <gasps> Do not move, eh? You will be all right. I will take you to the English doctor. A coral, I imagine, eh? It wasn't a coral. How much do you charge for this? Oh, 20 drachma. 20 drachma? For 20 drachma, I can buy a pair of shoes. Waste of money if you couldn't walk. Now I'm going to wash it off. It may hurt a little. Would it hurt, doctor, if you washed your hands? Huh. We work Sunday. You see what happens? <laughs> we work. I work for you. Now I cannot work for me. Now. Keep still. Oh! oh, no, oh. Now it can't hurt all that much. So it doesn't hurt? So it doesn't cost 20 drachma? Well, perhaps you've got something in it. Let's have a look. Now, clench your fists. Hold our shoulders, riff hard. Oh, 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 you're very stupid, you stop. Oh, and you clumsy. Good for pushing nuggets. Oh. Good girl. But no encore. You see? There was something in it. A nail. You see? You see a nail from a ship. You said a fish. Yes, a boy on a fish. On a fish. Mm, a dolphin. And you went to deep for your brains and you got stupid. Like you. Ecstasy of the deep, they call it. Your Albanian friend's right, my dear. There we are. There. Uh. Mm. Little gypsy, the doctor. The leg comes. is well. I don't have another 20 drachma for you to say it's well. My dear, you don't understand. I give the baker carrier key cost a laxative and I charge him 50 drachma. Other patients, I charge nothing. I bring them a present. <laughs> Tomorrow I break my right leg. Sublime. Sublime wound. No, uh, no fever, no blackout, no fairy tales about meeting a shark. I never had a fever, and I never said it was a shark. Oh, my mistake, of course. You said a swordfish. Swordfish? It was a dolphin. Like this? Yes, just like this, but only one. My little gypsy, my very dear little gypsy, we're rich. Rich? No, not rich. Very, very rich. 
Do you know where I've been for the past 24 hours? <laughs> Giving a laxative to the baker Karikikos? No, no, no. I went over to Delos. I sat over the parchments in the old archive, looking up a legend. Then, I copied the mosaic. I forgot all about my patience. I didn't sleep, I didn't eat. I'll get Sit you some down. cheese. Don't... Sit down. Uh. This nail, which stuck in your leg, is hundreds and hundreds of years old. It comes from the hull of an ancient vessel, which, according to the legend, was carrying art treasures to Delos, but sank in a storm within sight of this island a long time ago, when Christ was a little boy. Santa Maria. Then you believe me. It was a ship. Oh, yes. I believe you. And the trouble is to find someone who will believe us. And that someone's got to be the right someone. My cousin Nikita. His wife is the niece of Andros Palosti. He owns all the donkeys in Satarina. My dear, the right someone is not someone who owns donkeys, but someone who owns money. Gregory Granitos, my uncle. He has a rich wife who is going to die, Petra, eh? Petra, no one in your family is going to be included in this. Only you and me, my little gypsy. We are going to be rich. Rich! Good. You say a lot of words, Doctor. The one that like best is money. Then go and sell sponges back in Albania. Go dive in Albania, too. I can, Doctor. I am in love. Love? Ah, you just want a share of this. Why not? I know the spot where I'm from, and I like to be rich. Simple. Simple. Well, there's an old Greek proverb which says a third of something's better than half of nothing. Now, the people to go to. They must be rich, preferably foreign and reasonably honest, but only reasonably. The Americans? Yes. In Athens, there are always dozens of them poking around the Acropolis, digging. Now, the one to go to is the man in charge. Good. I go to Athens today. You go to Athens, spend your money on wine, plenty of girls in Athens. And if the police ask you for papers, what happens, huh? You want him to go? Never mind about that. The police that. arrest him on the street. Now, children, children, let's not quarrel. Nico! Go and find my shoes. Huh? I can't go to Athens without shoes. Take it easy, boys. They don't make them like that anymore. Anybody wants me, I'll be in the museum. Sorry, but our wall had other ideas. Well, I tried giving him a coax. I didn't know what to do. Oh, Dill, that's a great hunk of wall. Wait till they bring it up and take a look at it. Where's what's his name? Mr. Baldwin. Mr. William B. Ah. Baldwin. He's down in the museum right now, appraising the fruits of our labors, plus wife and daughter. And remember, he's the treasurer of the foundation. There's always a treasure. I'll see you. And Dr. Calder. Huh? Will you please try to remember for your own sake that treasurers have feelings, too? Huh. <laughs> hey, you! You said he'd be here before lunch. I had lunch, twice. And onions, both times. I have to go to Ida tonight. I've only one day's cheese. Well, I'm sorry, but you saw for yourself how busy he was. But that working man with whistle is uh, the American boss? That's right. 
You're not fooling me, missus. No, he is busy. And I haven't had lunch, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, I... Nothing personal, Calder, but this museum's an anti-climax after what you see in Rome, Paris, and London. What do you expect? Every thief and crook in Europe is in hijacking the great works of Greece to fill the museums of the rest of the world. No need to be violent. I'm on your side, remember? I'm sorry, I just get mad every time I talk about it. Well, do you want to go on or want some more questions? Yes. How long do you think I can stay here in Athens? I have to go home. Now, you want to see me or don't you want to, huh? Do I? About what? Should they come back later? I'll show you something. I know you. You found something. Hmm. A great treasure. Yeah. Thousands of years old. How did you know? In 1820, a shepherd from one of the islands found the Venus de Milo. But this is not Venus de Milo. This is another thing. And since then, every year, shepherds, fishermen come to Athens with stories about statues and, uh, <laughs> well, they're just stories. So, you don't want to listen. All right. I'll go to the French, the Italian, the English. They will listen. That is where I go. Rather simple people, the Greeks. Yeah. So simple they made a thing like this a couple of thousand years ago. Don't stop him. Let him ride. Let the jockey boy ride. But he's riding on nothing. The utter folly of wasting the supreme works of the human spirit upon a base and ignorant public. Fall on your knees before it, child, and remember, the jockey boy of Artemision is 2,100 years older than you are and infinitely more sublime. Mr. Urich, American? An irrelevant question and a decidedly impertinent one. You may leave me alone now. I'm... Shoo! You shoot. Oh, there you are. Fired? No, just tired. Oh, good. Then you can afford to buy me a martini at Zonar's. Uh-oh, the return of the native. You stay here. I'll handle it myself quietly. Look, I'm very sorry, miss, but... I'm not a shepherd. Okay, so you're not a shepherd. I went to see French. The man there, he pinched me. The English say they have enough troubles. The Italians say they have enough statues. All right. What statue? Well, you see this? Um, I'll, um, get the car and I'll wait. Uh, the Frenchman do that? No, the nail on the ship with the dolphin, 2,000 years old. So when the English doctor take it out of my skin, he make a... Look. You see? <clears throat> you'd, uh, you'd better sit down. It's a drawing of the mosaic on the island of Delos. You, uh, you from Delos? No, either. And you, you really saw a statue of a boy on a dolphin in the bottom of the sea? Of course I see it. Big. I can sell it to you maybe if you pay me plenty of money. Oh, I know, but hold on. I don't want to... You don't believe me. Listen. Today in the museum, I see another boy, just like mine. But mine, he rides a fish, a dolphin fish. You, uh, you really saw the boy on a dolphin in the bottom of the sea? No, on a ship. English doctor call it ancient vessel. This nail is from a vessel. Look. I, uh, let's start again. Let's get it straight. But I told you to start from here. Uh, hi. Look, what's your name? Fedra. Oh, where are you staying? What hotel? No hotel. Hotel costs money. Hmm. 
Here, take it. It's okay. It's Andoxy. It's not okay. It's not Andoxy. If your American company take my dolphin fish out from the sea, 500 drachm, it's not okay. It's not Andoxy. Not if you have that boy on the dolphin. I have. Then you can have anything you wish. What would you like most? For me, plenty of money is enough. But for Nico... And who is Nico? He's my brother, Lazy Bag. When he grow up, he'll go to university, like you. You know, I think we can make a deal. Meet me at the Asteria at 7 o'clock. Be there. Yes, okay. Oh, and I'll send a cable to Yale and tell them a new freshman by the name of Lazy Bug is coming. Bye. I'm sorry, it is not permitted to serve an unescorted lady. I am waiting for a man. That is exactly what I mean. No lady can be... But I am hungry. Please, I cannot serve a lady seated by herself. Ah, oh, him I know. I sit with him. Mr. Parmalee? Hmm. You see? Now I'm not alone. I'm with a friend. My bill, please. No, no, stay here. It's not permitted for me to be alone. I'd like my radio. Huh? That is, of course, unless you intend to hatch it. Oh, I didn't even feel it. It's a soft radio. Lady, please, I must ask you to go. You go. Dr. Calder, the American, tell him I'm here. He wants very much what I find. He's most important in business. Shh. Do I understand that you're having dinner with the illustrious Dr. Calder? I have dinner now. You want some? I'd love it. Allow me to choose an appropriate beverage. Ah, now let me see. What would be the best vintage? Goat's milk for two. Yes, sir. He's important man, Dr. Calder, eh? In his pedestrian way. Incorruptible Jim, I call him. You know him a long time? Our paths have crossed and recrossed. In Dresden, Rotterdam, Florence, wherever the Nazis looted. Raphael's and Rembrandt's. Even down to a dreary little china pot which belonged to Madame Pompadour. Huh? There was always Captain Jim Calder of the U.S. Army, restoring priceless objects to their rightful owners. A typical middle class gesture. Well, I'm glad to find out that Jim has finally turned to something more earthy. Hey? Huh? He has a date with a pretty girl instead of a marble bust. No, we have business deal together. Oh, very enterprising. May I inquire what kind of a business deal? We're all going to have plenty of money, and Nico will go to university. Don't tell me you're selling a family treasure to Jim Calder. Oh, no, something I found in the sea. A secret? It's not a secret. I never pry. There's nothing more becoming than a woman with a secret. Ah, excuse me. There's evidently a phone call for me. Yes, sir. Just talk. Repeat your name six times. Hmm? Your name six times. Dimitri Papadopoulos. Dimitri Papadopoulos. Dimitri Papadopoulos. Dimitri Papadopoulos. Four Dimitri. Will be enough. 
Thank you. Actually, it was a call for you. Uh, Dr. Calder sent word he'll be delayed two hours. Two hours? It's so long. Yes, it is. You know, it's very warm here. You have two hours. We'll take a drive. My car and chauffeur are waiting outside. You, you ask me to ride in your chauffeur in the car? With great pleasure. Okay, we go. Good evening, Dimitri. Where's the boat for Hadra? Gone. You weren't really thinking of following that girl all the way to the island, were you? Why wasn't I? She made sense. Because this isn't archaeological field work, that's why. It's, it's treasure hunting. Treasure hunting? You know, Dale, you gave me a great idea. And you talked yourself out of a martini. We're leaving Athens right now. Oh, no, sorry, not me. I like my job. Don't you? I love it. That's why I'm doing it. See to it that the lady is made comfortable. She is to be allowed complete freedom of the yacht, but under no circumstances is she to be permitted to leave. Yes, sir. I am spending the night ashore. In the morning, Tonina will drive me to Epidaurus. If I can find what I'm looking for there, I shall return tomorrow. If not, I should go on to the monastery of Meteor. Now remember, the lady is to be kept aboard as our guest. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'm sorry you could not find what you were looking for in our library, Mr. Parmalee. It was a shot in the dark. Perhaps you'll have a better luck at Meteora. After what you told me about the roads, I sincerely hope so. I love you, darling. You or me? Neither, I'm afraid. That's her husband up there. Darn right it is. I love you too, honey. The finest acoustics the world has ever known. Made not only by the cooings of tourists. I heard that. Serves you right for eavesdropping. Good luck at Meteora, sir. Thank you very much.
We're here, sir. How do I get up there? A lift, sir. Monastery sent on a lift. Which button do I press? Hello! Obviously, I pressed the wrong button. Thank you, brother. Welcome to Meteora. May I ask who carries your insurance? We put our trust in the Almighty. A very safe company. I hate to impose myself. I can see you're all frightfully busy, so I shall be brief. I am seeking information about an object which I have reason to believe reposes on the ocean floor. What kind of object? A button? Bone, wheelbarrow? A ship, sunk many years ago. Five hundred years, a thousand, two thousand? Two thousand is near enough. Do you know where to look? We have over thirty-four hundred volumes. My only clue is a twelfth-century manuscript, written by a scholar of Vilas. The wonder of heaven's humor. For years, dust gathers on our manuscripts. And today, before the call to matins, you are the second man to ask the same question. I beg your pardon. If I can be of help, I will come to the library after matins. Thank you, brother. I should have made a reservation. Well, hello, Parmalee. What are you doing here? Run out of Greek quotations? An impossibility. You of all people should know that. I don't get it. New York, London, Paris, Meteor. Doesn't ring. Please, Jim, no open wounds. We've got too much in common. Not money. But we both love the things you can't buy. For a practical man, Jim, you waste your time in an awful lot of nonsense. I like that about you. And the boy rode downwards into the wine-dark sea upon the back of the sea god's playmate. A boy of gold upon an iron dolphin. Bronze. I stand corrected. Bronze. Ah. At a place far down upon the Peloponnesus Sank our finest treasure. Peloponnesus, that satisfy you? What satisfies me more, Jim, is finding you here. I loathe having dusty fingers. Well, I must hurry or I'll miss my basket. I'd hate to see you go to jail, Victor. A sentimentality is still your most endearing weakness, Jim. Keep it up. Let me remind you of paragraph 9 of the Penal Code of Greece. Any and all objects having historical value cannot, under any circumstances, be removed from Greek territory or territorial waters. They... They are to be considered the property of the Greek nation. Yes, Jim, I know all about paragraph 9. I'm the reason they wrote it.
I quite agree. Oh, you, you! Before you say anything else, let me ask you a question. No! I know those questions. All tricks and mix-up. We ride in the car. You ask me if I want a glass of water. I say I go diving in Hydra. We get here to the boat. You ask me if I like fresh air. I say I saw sunken ship. We sit in the cabin. You ask me my mother's name. Do I say Katrina Zibilas Crisantos? No! I say I saw a boy on a dolphin. And what happens? You go and I wait here for two days. Weren't you comfortable? Didn't they take good care of you? Oh, too much care. They kept me here. No more questions, huh? Good. Now, my question is, if I bring a crew and diving equipment to Idra, can you locate that exact spot again? Pooh! Surely you're not going to the police without your shoes. I'm going to Mr. Calder. Do that. It'll be very profitable. He gave you 500 drachma. He may give you 500 more. Then let me see. You'll have a thousand drachma. In dollars, that means... Oh, no, Mr. Mixup. You can't confuse me anymore, huh? At least do me one favor. It may be chilly. Take your wrap. Uh-huh. I haven't got a wrap. Come here. It's Belgian lace from Brussels. Very old and very precious. And now, I want the finest statue in Greece. The one you found. For that, you will have a string of fishing boats, perhaps even more, and live in Athens to the end of your days. Uh, well, I don't know. I have to talk to Dr. Hawkins and Drift. I must go to Idra. What time is it? Give me your hand. <sighs> oh. <laughs> so you will always know. It takes. It's 4.15. The boat leaves at 5. What boat? The boat to Idra. We're already on our way to Idra. <laughs> Hi there. I'm looking for a girl called Phaedra. They said she lived up here. Yes, my sister. Oh, then you're Lazybug. Hi, Lazybug. Hi, mister. Your sister back from Athens? We are waiting for her. Oh. You're an American, sir? Yes, my name's Calder. She paid me a visit in Athens. <laughs> Please, sir, sit down. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nico, uh, clean the gentleman's shoes. Oh, no, no, never mind. My dear sir, perhaps you'd like a drink. Uh, Nico, milk the goat. Oh, no, relax, please. I just came for a little information. You, sir, and Phaedra, why you do not arrive together? Well, that's what I came here to find out. But you had a nice little chat with our Phaedra. Oh, sure. How did you get along? Great, great, great. Like a million. Look, I uh, left my diving gear down at the wharf. Would somebody give me a hand? Yes, Nico. Help the gentleman with his luggage. Oh. Be seeing it, gentlemen. Seeing you. Did you hear what he said? A million! This is not the harbor of Hydra. This is Mandrake Bay, not Hydra. Nobody has lived here for ten years. How very fair of you, my dear. Then we go on. To the harbor itself, with everyone looking on, not quite. We'll stay where we are, safe from prying eyes. Mm. I should have been proud to sail into Hydra. Everybody would look at me with big eyes. Nico, Riff, Dr. Hawkins, everybody. My dear Savage, try to remember, this is still a highly extra-legal enterprise. What do you mean, extra? I shall explain. It's a transaction which, if successfully concluded, mm -hmm. results in no imperfect adventure with the law. In short, a buyer's risk. And that's it. And I'll thank you not to flourish that shawl. But what must I do with it if I cannot wear it? Hide it. Put it away somewhere out of sight. Now then, go ashore. Prepare everything softly, quietly. When the marker is in the water, let me know. I have all the latest equipment below. I'll take it from there. Hey, what about our money? Upon delivery, as in all transactions of this nature.
boat from Athens is due at three. Which means it won't be here before six. Yeah, if she's on it. Please, I'm quite nervous enough. Come on, let's have another. There isn't a sick man on the entire island. Svegra! Hey! Look, for you. All the way from Athens. Thank heavens. And you're early. It's only three o'clock. Three? It's exactly... Never mind, child. Never hey. mind. Two, fifty-four and a half. Look, twenty-one jewels. Where? You can't see them. They're all inside. Why inside? So nobody can steal them. Where you get this from? I got it. The American? Of course. The doctor said, go and find a rich man. Well, I found a rich man. We know, we know. Everything is clear and perfect. I even like the way he whistles. You got the wrong man. You are a pair of stupids. Nothing is clear and perfect. But why? Now, we have big question. We go to the yacht at Mandraki Bay. Come. Nico, go home. Pedro, eh? we'll take the boat. No, not the boat. We go by the hill. Shoeshine, mister. Best shoeshine on the island. Is that right? That's right. Okay, Nico, you got yourself a deal. Come on up. What do you want? Mr. Parmalee? Yes? Forty-three. You know who is in the island? Who? Forty-four. Calder. Missed that one. It was just a matter of time. Jim Calder is no beginner. These are my friends, Dr. Hawkins and... We'll Rick. exchange cards later. Did you tell Calder I was here? Exactly not. If he wants... Trouble, I suggest you use that on your fingernails. Well, this alters our plans. As long as Calder is around, no activity on our part. No marker is to be put it's in the water. It's my shell. part. I'm too friendly with the people. Uncoil, my dear, uncoil. We have all the time in the world. We'll bake in the sun for a while and have a glass of Madeira. Will you play hostess? No, they don't want to drink. But what am I going to do with the Dr. Calder? He'll want her to die for it. And get the statue. I wonder if you could explain to these stockholders that they'll be quiet now. They can have a bone later. You'll die with Calder. What? Dive all over the Aegean Sea, except in one spot. The spot with a boy and a dolphin. But, sir... Dive until he runs out of patience, runs out of ambition, out of money, oxygen and hope. Oh, Mr. Parmalee, you have plenty of noodles, you know? Thank you. Now we all have wine. Fish heads? Caviar, to be precise. You like that? Like many expensive things, an acquired taste. Here's hoping you acquire it. Sue. Yes, Sue. Yes, Sue. Yes, yes Sue. Sue. I would still be in Athens. Oh, now, wait a minute. And I... you, lazy bug, go back to the windmill. Do not talk with strangers. We're not strangers. We're all college And chumps. look your face how dirty it is. Go home and wash yourself. And you? You are not a trusty man. Absolutely not. 
I'm not. Well, as long as you admit it, I will not be angry anymore. All right, I'll admit it, but where do we go from there? Do you still want to get to the statue? Sure. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hire a boat, a crew. I'll hire a boat and a crew. Like that, it will be cheaper for you. How much? Well, 500 drachma. I get fine crew and boat for that. 500? Mm -hmm. What do you think I am, a millionaire? No. I have a better idea. Can you handle the motor? I'll try. Good, I handle boom. Boat I get free. Crew we don't need, so we save money. Huh. I wish you'd handle my income tax. Eh? <laughs> Nothing, just, just forget it. I'll meet you here at 8 o'clock tomorrow and we'll go diving, okay? Okay. Okay. You hold your breath like I told you and you'll have it made. Yes, but my ears. A uh, couple of more days, you'll get used to it. I was sure this was the spot. Well, that's how it goes. It's a big ocean. But it was here. The sun was up there. And, and the boat was in straight line with that cliff. And uh, today, nothing but sand. The days are longer. The sun's in a different position. Oh, yes, yes, longer days. You know, you're smart cookies. Next, we try over there. Oh, no, that's all for today. What? Yeah, we got to save the air in the tanks. Plant your wearing tanks. All right. Then let's save you.
What? We've been diving every day for two weeks. At least we found something. Exactly nothing. Could be. We found half the answer to the big question mark. Now, if we can fit it together with, with the other half, maybe... to go on? It's only morning. We had the whole day. No, I got some things to do and I... Look at them. Ah, line of duty, my boy. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, is it all for today? I'll tell you what I'll do. You meet me at the taverna and if you're a real good girl, I'll buy you a drink. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, sharp. Sharp. Well, and Doxy. Best to Shining Wheat. Hmm, how much? For you, special bargain, free. Hmm, well, we'll sweeten the kitty then. One, two, hmm, caviar, pretty fancy. Not good, Rip no like it. Do you always serve caviar at the windmill? Fedra bring from the yard. She said it was good for me. Oh, a yacht? What yacht? Big ship. Mandraki Bay. Mandraki Bay? Where's Mandraki Bay? Other side of the island. Nobody can see it. Oh. Well, lazy bug, you'd better scoot home. Your sister might want you. Okay. So long. Nino, we'll be two for luncheon. Yes, sir. Well, what a cozy little spot. Smuggler's Cove. Just suits you. Surprised to see me? To the contrary. I was expecting you. Huh. No wonder you hijacked somebody else's paintings. You're playing a losing game, Calder. You haven't got a chance. You really want that boy in the dolphin, don't you? Yes. That's why I'm so annoyed at you. Why bother to stick around? The girl won't help you. And you can't hope to find the statue alone. So? So, when you're dead, lie down. Maybe you're right. As long as we've got the cards on the table. Tell me, if I'm not around, how do you get it out of the Greek waters? Jim. You're talking to me as if I were a man of honor. I'm not. Lunch? Will you join me? Thanks. Please. Pepper? Salt? My, what a pretty picture of Benjamin Franklin. Thumb through. He gets better looking. It's money. I presume you've heard of money. Don't try to be noble and turn it down. There's nothing as noble as money. Sorry, but your soup's cold. So is the bottom of the Aegean Sea.
s'agapo, s'agapo, s'agapo. Tina afta puta lere agapi, tina afto, tina afto, pou krifa tis kardies odigi. Yo pio stoño se to nostalgi ti na fto puto lene agapi ti na fto ti na fto ye lio da grilla cada brochi ti zo is mas que te los kiarchi pote Ποτέ κανένα στόμα δεν το βρε και δεν το πε ακόμα. Τι είναι αυτό που το λένε αγάπη, τι είναι αυτό, τι είναι αυτό που σε κάνει να δες το σκοπό. Go ahead, dance with them. I'll dance for you. you and I aren't on the same team. But we are on the same team. Are we? Uh, of course we are. We die well. We laugh together. We are good together. Sure, when we find sponges, coral, rusty bathtubs, but no statue. <laughs> Don't worry. In the end, we will find it. Yes, I'll find it, but not with you. With science. You know, it's a pity, but science has a way of spoiling things for a lot of people. What science? Well, this afternoon I, I got a little box that it finds metal underwater, you know, by sound. No diving? Oh, yes, but you only dive once, then you get it. Nico, Nico, where is he? Nico, where have you been? It's late for you. We have to go home, quick. Why? It is not late. It is late. I'm sorry. No, that's that's all right. You take him home, put him to bed, and come on back. I'll be waiting for you. Dr. Calder knows everything. That we have tricked him. Everything. Tomorrow he starts to go in a boat. But alone. To find our statue. He will take it away from us. Alone, he will never find it. He has a machine. It listens. An American machine. An underwater sound detector. Our friend Dr. Calder is a very determined man. You're right, my dear Phaedra. The statue must be moved tonight. 
Break out all necessary equipment. Torch, lamp, ropes, oxygen, aqualungs. And send Tonina with them. Yes, sir. And I'll prepare to bring the statue aboard as soon as they return. You'll do nothing of the kind. Not now. Not with call to watching like a hawk. And certainly not in these waters. It's too risky. When the time is right, we'll meet at this island. The one that looks like a whale. The transfer will take place there. Now listen carefully. You and your partner here will cut the statue loose from the ship's hull and move it into a cave. Or better still, into the grotto nearby. The one beneath the lighthouse. Here. After we are down, watch the flow. You know the signals. One for rope, two for oxygen. Okay.
Riff. Oh. Good morning. Did I wake you up? Yes. Well, I couldn't sleep last night. You didn't come to the taverna. You didn't show, so I... You are going to dive now? So early? No, not quite yet. It's going to be kind of lonely out there. I'll miss you. Oh. How do you like that for a laugh? I do not laugh. I only... Only what? I don't know what. I'll tell you what. You're the prettiest girl that ever lived under a windmill. Bug. Dr. Jean, I come with you, please. Sure, there's always room for you, partner. Hop aboard. Is a present for you, Dr. Jean? No, not exactly. In a second, we'll take a look at it. You know what this is? Look, it's a... Hey, you really go for that, don't you? Well, it's yours. For me? For you. Thank you, Dr. Jean. I can help you, please, Dr. Jean? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you can help an awful lot. When we go in the water, you listen to this gadget. When it goes tick, 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 you start to yell. Okay. If it makes tick, tick, I yell. Well, what are you going to do? Listen to the fishes? It's the sun sometimes. Rick, look, Dr. Jean gave it to me. Ah, it's all right for a small boy, eh, hey, Doctor? I never found I needed a bigger knife. But for a strong man, this one is better, no? It all depends. Sometimes it's the other way around. The smaller the man, but the bigger the knife. Dr. G, you look for sponges. Right now, I'd settle for one. Here is no good for sponges. My sister never dives here. Oh, where does your sister dive? Sometimes over there, and sometimes over there. And once she dives over there. All good spots, huh? Not all good. Over there is much coral, deep. Fedra, she cut a leg. It's not good. All the same, Nico. We go over there, where your sister hurt her leg. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Nice big canvas, Victor. Nice big sea, too, wasn't it, Calder? Big, not too big. Well, well. A lie detector? I see. Who's your small scientific friend? He's a bright boy, almost as bright as his sister Phaedra. And, and you know how bright she is. They don't come any brighter, Jim. You may as well face it. How about a pick-me-up? You must need one. Badly. On the yacht? On the yacht. Go ahead, Jim. She's all yours. And if you happen to find the boy in a dolphin, let me know. I'd like to see it myself. No, I think I'll take a rain check. Promise? I promise. Tonino. Yes, sir? I want you to take this message to Riff at once. Not the girl, to Riff. Now listen carefully. You send for us to run quick. We run. You smile. Why? No, Feder. Did you not see the boat from Mr. Family? Of course I saw it. But why did he send it to you? He sent it to tell me the plan. And now, I tell you the plan. Tonight, at the festival, you will dance for Dr. Calder. I dance when my feet tell me to, not when you tell me to. You will dance when I tell you to. You will dance for Dr. Calder. His eyes will only watch you. He will not watch me. While you dance, I will go away. I will go to Poros. And I will get a big fast boat tonight. Tonight? Tonight we are going to be rich, my little gypsy rich. Stop it. Not tonight. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, in the evening, we will go to the cave. Take the statue in the fast boat and go quick to the island that looks like a whale and give the statue to Mr. Family. Then we get money tomorrow. Tomorrow, did you say? Why not today? You talk too much. You drink too much. And I do not need you. I do not need anybody. If you two want money, you do what Rip say. What is this money, Rip? Where did you get it? Fair, do you not trust me? Family gave him money to get a boat. Not for the doctor to get drunk. But why did you hit him? Fair, he's angry with me, huh? But she's still beautiful. And after tomorrow, she will not be angry. She will be rich. I kiss when I want to kiss. All right. But remember, tonight when you dance for color, you dance with your feet and your head, not with your heart. I'm 
sorry, Riff, if I spoke out of turn. All right. I forget it. But you watch her, that she dances, that she keeps him there. If we want money tomorrow, you do what I say tonight. Learned friend, Dr. Corvette. Won't you join me in a delicious glass of wine? <laughs> no, thank you, Doctor. I was just looking for... Hi. Hi. I've uh, been waiting for you. Yes? You wanted to talk to me? No, I thought you might dance for me tonight. Tonight. Oh, why shouldn't I be? Everybody's happy. Yeah, even Dr. Hawkins. He's very happy. And Riff, uh... I wonder where Riff is. Well, Riff's okay, too. What about you? Of course. I have every reason. Well, I guess you have it then. Dr. Hawkins? You know me, sir. You're not a stranger in Greece, Dr. Hawkins. A guest, but not a stranger. A guest? Yes, I suppose I am, Lenny. Funny. You, you've put up with me for a long time, haven't you? Made me feel rather ashamed, in a way. Then, let's drink to ambition, riches, and above all, Trustworthy friends. Trustworthy friends. Now I will dance. For whom? For whom? For the dance. You watch your sister dance. She's very good.
Worked out well, didn't it? Smile, you dance, I watch. Riff meets Parmalee. You've got a nice smile, Phaedra. You dance well. Just thought I'd tell you that. But don't ask me to shake your hand, it's too dirty. And your hand, Dr. Calder, when you dig in the earth. It's never dirty because, because you don't have to dig. You are a famous archaeologic man. You do not shine shoes or work in the windmill. Or die for sponges and break your lungs. You are an American. And if you had founded a statue, you would have taken glory, yes. But not changed Nico's life or Riff's or Dr. Hawkins' life by one piece of bread. That's why I'm happy you'll never see the statue in your life, Dr. Calder. I'm happy for you too, Fedra. For you, for your partners. You got together, the statue's gone, you're set for the rest of your life. Yes, and it is good. And you're a cheat and a thief like any other thief. The only difference is the house you stole from tonight is your own country. I'm not a thief. I have not stolen. I have found. And what I have found in the sea is mine to sell for me. What about your own people? The people of Greece. They're the losers. They'll never see it. <laughs> you think the people of Greece, they live their life like you in a museum? What do you know about Greek people? You are an American. And you're a Greek girl and it's a Greek statue. And being an American, it's none of my business. That is exactly right, Dr. Calder. Maybe. Maybe I don't know a lot about the Greek people. But I've learned something about the people of this island. Your statue could have meant excitement and pride to them. But no one's going to see it now. No one. Don't you worry. You'll have everything in the world except friends, neighbors, and a country. Go away. Go away from this island. And I wish never to see you again. time, I... I wouldn't want to lose it now. <laughs> it is safe. It's in a secret cave. In the morning early, we will see it. I don't know what has happened. Listen to me. I didn't do this or know about this. Riff must have come here. He has taken it this morning. Early, I guess. You think last night I stopped you so that he could take it? No, it's not true. It couldn't be. You didn't stop me. I stopped myself. Say you know I didn't do this. Say it. Or I lost everything, Jim. Forget it. I have. I threw away the only thing that mattered for... 
something that will never matter. Don't say that. Here. It's not your fault you believed in your viewpoint. You stuck with it, but I didn't stick with mine. Jane, I'm sorry for this morning, for now. But I will never be sorry for last night. So, what will you do? What will I do? What you do is between you and Riff. What I do is between myself and the Greek government. I'll give them the facts, get off of the island, and go back and start digging. Come down. Hey, Riff! Failure, I have been looking for you. Where have you been? Where is the statue? Ah, the statue. It will make your eyes want to see it. And why do you ask where is it? Tell me. Is it here? I want to know. I show you. Come. And I will tell you why it is here, not in the cave. Tonight, we sail to the island and afterwards we go far away. I must get Nico. I must go to the house. To the house or to Calder. <gasps> that is why I take the statue. Sorry, Chief, but I... Well, I hate to interfere in your work, but this is kind of important. I'm sorry, Dr. Calder, and you are right. It is important. You see, this will be one of our last games together, he and me. Perhaps the last. Oh, is that so? Pardon me while I catch a slow boat for Athens. But it is thanks to you, Dr. Calder, that it is so. Oh, you know my name. Glad I accomplished something. Of course I know you. I know also that you have come to warn us about the statue that is being taken to Mr. Parmelis' yacht tonight. Ah, huh. you won the jackpot. That's exactly the point. I have not won it yet. Hmm. Well, that makes two of us. By the way, what do you do? In a small way, I represent the Greek government. For the past weeks, I've been watching you dive until I'm almost out of breath. Fortunately, Mr. Parmelie feels the same way. As a result, we'll get him, and you'll get the statue. Well, I hope you're right. Calder, if anything changes our plans, i let you know immediately. Will you be here? Yeah, I'll be here. Good.
If I let you loose, will you swim and run away? have flown. I'm afraid she's of the same feather. Flown together. <laughs> Gone. No, Rafa, stay with her. He is tied to her. Tied her? Tied her where? By the small bay, in the red cake. He can fly out of the water. Fedra, she show me. The statue. The statue. And the water. Let's go. You are angry, but it will not last. In two days, you will be in my country, Albania. And we will be married, and rich, and happy. In a hurry, Dr. Calder? I can wait a few more seconds if I have to. Family I have waited for years. Receive cargo. Stand by the way anchor. Mr. Family, are you there, sir? Of course I'm here. Stop talking and hoist your cargo. Where is it? First the morning. Mr. Parmelee, we have never met before. But if I may say so, I know your work. Thank you. Nevertheless, whoever you are, flattery will get you nowhere. It is not flattery, mister. I represent the Greek government. 
In that case, you may apologize briefly and leave. You are under arrest, Mr. Parmelee. Arrest? <laughs> this is preposterous. On what charge? Theft of Greek national property. Hi, Victor. Hi. Is it okay to go up and get that rain check? Go ahead. It appears to be that kind of night. It's not on the yacht. How do you know? I guess I know Victor Parmelee. Hold it. Cross your fingers. Well, Victor, this must be yours. It's got your monogram on it. Rather incriminating evidence, Mr. Tomlin. Of what? Attempted theft of Greek national treasure. Before you handcuff me, may I, in the interest of Greek justice, ask one simple question? Go ahead, please. This treasure I'm to be arrested for stealing. Might I be told its size, weight, and color? Its age, shape, and value? Have you seen it? Have you? Or you? Well, there go your handcuffs. Have you, Mr. Parmelin? I have not. You admit no guilt whatsoever? To the contrary. I am 100% guilty of an unforgivable crime. A crime of failure. Well, under the circumstances, Dr. Calder, perhaps it would be better for us to wait for Mr. Parmelin until the next time. Until the next time, Calder? Well, it's been a long night. Let's head for home. Let's. Weigh anchor. Southwest by west. Speed, 12 knots. Destination. Destination. Hmm. Monte Carlo. Strange. So empty. They must have gone to the ball game. Hitch a ride to Athens. I'll be back in three minutes. Good. That little guy went under the boat and cut the ropes and cut them underwater with a pocket knife. You say he's only a statue, 
And what can a statue achieve? And yet, while I'm gazing at you, my heart tells my head to believe. If the boy whom the gods have enchanted should arise from And the wish of my heart could be granted I would wish that you loved